um, your brother William. All right, she got El uh, Virginia's brother. I'm slowly stealing your people away. <laughs> Dude, I stole <laughs> your brother. <laughs> Next time we'll steal your family, <laughs> all of them. And then your boxers again. <laughs> That's great. He'll be good to you. What about you, Rain? Damien Ramsey. Oh no! What do you mean, oh no? He's evil. What? What's so bad about him? Look at him! He's a demon! There are actual evil demons, like in stories? Probably. There are a lot of creatures in the other world. What's the other world? Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Anywhere that's not Earth. Ask one of the professors. They can explain it better. He looks a little like, uh, I should have brought that up. <laughs> yeah. But if he's only probably a demon... Well, look. He's obviously not full human, right? He's not uh -oh. a wild seed like you. Uh-oh. Oh, she's but racist. When... <laughs> but when he first turned up at school back when William was a freshman, nobody had ever heard of him before. So if he's from a magical family, how come nobody knows them? All magical families know each other? Well, it's not like everybody knows everybody, but everybody knows somebody if you go back far enough. Most of the people in our year born magical have met sometime, even if I don't know them that well. Or my dad knows their aunt or someone who does. Like that wing girl, Pastel. Yeah, her dad was a sylph. See, everybody knows about her and her mother, but nobody knew that guy. And he's blue. How is that possible? <laughs> she's just racist against blue people. I think she's just racist in general. I don't know, she was talking to that fairy lady. Yeah, but like, like she was talking about like getting rid of people. Maybe. Ah, uh, so William doesn't like Black him. Power. <laughs> so I don't like him. It all sounds vaguely mysterious, but there's no proof that there's anything evil about Damien. Other than his freaking name. Yeah. <laughs> well, as long as he's nice to you, it's alright, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess. I'm never going to stop being bothered about wondering where my bed is. <sighs> I'm hurrying along the campus first thing in the morning when I spot Damien leaning against a wall. Aww. <laughs> Well, hello there, Rain. Hi. Sorry, I can't talk right now. What's the matter? Big Steve said I had to get him coffee right now. Well, he sort of growled it, really. Who do you belong to? Me or Big Steve? Wink! <laughs> um, well, you, but... Then I think you have time to talk. Don't worry, I won't bite. It's just that I've been thinking about you. Uh-oh. Ooh. As your senior, I'm supposed to give you commands so that you can demonstrate your obedience. I have to make you do things that you wouldn't want to do. <laughs> but I don't want to do anything that would hurt or upset you in front of people. Well, that's nice of him. He's like, I'll just no, save that for when no. we're alone. Yeah, I was just about to say, no, that's really creepy. <laughs> At least he's being considerate. <laughs> um, what? No, because then he'd get in trouble, too. Well, I, I just mean, like, if he's going to make me do gross, creepy things or things that are going to embarrass me, at least he's not going to make me do them in a large oh, crowd. No, he's, he, he's talking about sex, you idiot. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, well, thanks. So I thought of something else, something we could do. That no one else would have to know about our little secret. See, now right. he sounds creepy. <laughs> He's always sounding creepy. <laughs> like... Oh, God. <laughs> I want you to write me a love letter. Tee hee. <laughs> Tee -hee. <laughs> What? <laughs> An extremely romantic love letter. I want you to proclaim your undying passion in words. With hearts and flowers, and sealed with a kiss. See, I'm lonely. Wing. <laughs> See, now I'm imagining, like, a card full of, like, bleeding hearts and, like, flower petals. <laughs> well, I'm thinking if you do this, and if he really is an evil demon, can he do something with this? 
I don't know. I I. Well, it looks like she wants to anyway. She wants the D. See, <laughs> 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 um. <laughs> <laughs> you're embarrassed. That makes it a good challenge for your initiation. And a good souvenir for me, too. I always wanted someone to write me a love letter. Blush. <laughs> I was so hoping you'd go there. <laughs> um. <laughs> so you'll do it. Right, freshman. I'll do it. Good girl. Tee <laughs> Hand it to me by midnight, and your task is complete. And make sure it's juicy tea. <laughs> you better hurry and get Steve's coffee now. See, Wink. now now I'd want to write a really raunchy love letter <laughs> to have to be like, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. We head off on our separate ways. Black magic. Success. I didn't suck at black magic that time as much. It might be slightly randomized. Yeah, maybe, because that time they both won up by two instead of just one. I'm sitting at my desk staring at a blank piece of paper and tapping my pencil absently. Oh, just read up some bad fan fiction and you're done. <laughs> um, did you stop that? That slightly annoying sound. Sorry. It's, it's distracting me from pickpocketing. <laughs> I flatten my hands on the desk surface to try and keep from fidgeting and sigh. Are you doing homework? Can I steal your answers? No, I'm trying to write a stupid love letter. A love letter? Not a real one. It's for initiation. I'm supposed to write a really romantic love letter. But I have no idea what to say. Oh. Maybe you should just quote Shakespeare, sonnets are romantic or something. Of something course, like, like... of course she'd suggest plagiarism. <laughs> Stealing <laughs> words. <laughs> <laughs> we do it all wrong. <laughs> I, that's the proof. I don't think that counts as writing. Sorry, I was never very good at creative writing. <laughs> oh, I have an idea. You do have a copy of a famous poem exactly, but you can still give it your own suggestions. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. So compare him to something, something unusual, mm. like your face. <laughs> oh god. Mm. <laughs> so it's just like butter, his teeth are like butter. <laughs> it's obviously like butter. Obviously. obviously. I, I haven't like seen his it. teeth. So they might be like nice, but his voice totally smooth. Mm, like bottom baby. <laughs> I love how I still look like this isn't a good idea. <laughs> I think of butter when I think of your voice because it's warm and soft and goes all melty. <laughs> That's sweet. Good start. Good start. <laughs> Alan, you're the worst. <laughs> <laughs> If you were butter on a table with a bread basket, lots of people would want to take bits of you. But I want to keep all the butter for myself because it's delicious. <laughs> See, now I'm sounding like a creeper. <laughs> butter gets all over my fingers and makes them slippery. And when I lick them... <laughs> she looks like, um... Too far? I'm not sure how to finish that sentence. <laughs> I think you said enough already. <laughs> Are you sure? Well, I suppose you could finish it with, I'm thinking of you. She's too nice to tell us that our writing's creepy. But this is exactly what you wanted to do, make something <laughs> raunchy. Uh, that just sounds kind of psychotic, though. Okay. It's the same thing. <laughs> I look at what I've written and frown. I don't think I have good letter... Good, I don't think I have good love letter handwriting, though. And I don't have any cutesy stationery. I do. I, I took stole it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I just saw a copy and just broke out. Uh, oh, you I thought she it. stole the copy? It what? Ah, yeah, yeah. That way it's in her handwriting. And if anyone tries to do anything, like, nope. Yes. <laughs> it wasn't me. It was Ellen. 
And even if he does something with this love letter, she's the one that's screwed, not you. And she stole Isabel's keys. <laughs> <laughs> really? I forgot that name already. <laughs> really? Thanks. <laughs> I hand her my scribbled version, and she produces a small pad of pink paper decorated with flowers. It's supposed to be sealed with a kiss. Do you think he'll know if I don't? Yes. I don't know. There might be a spell for it. I guess I have to, then. Ellen copies my, quote, love letter, and I fold it up and carefully kiss the center of the folded paper. I do not want a paper cut on my lip. Now I can deliver this thing and forget about it. He's gotta be like, what the crap is this? Put more effort into it. <laughs> like, I hate butter. <laughs> yeah. I learned what? a new spell. Shit. I learned a spell, uh -oh. Tim. Ah, Freeze. so once you reach level 5, you get something. Maybe. Costs one mana, moves air around the caster's current square, creating a gentle breeze. Where's current square? Is this going to be like a turn-based thing? I don't know. I don't have mana, so... So we need more power. Costs one mana. We have no mana. <laughs> oh, that, that must drain your smart. So you, the more magic you use, the dumber you get. No, it's like Kyle was talking about Rise of the Triad and saying how you could reload guns, but all the guns had an infinite clip size. So it was just like to kind of penalize you for thinking I have to reload all the time. That's odd. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. So I know how to make a breeze now. To push stuff around with air. Gain one white magic, one stress. Hmm. I hear someone outside. It sounds like someone's crying. Ellen? What's wrong? Is one of the seniors picking on you again? The letter, the quote, love letter. I helped you write. Somebody gave it to the professor Grabiner. And when he did his spell to find out who wrote it, so he blamed me and then wouldn't listen. So now I have detention. I've never had detention in my life. And I can't grab things and steal them if I'm in detention. <laughs> what? How would that letter get to the professor? I gave it to Damien. I reach out and give Ellen a quick hug. It'll be okay. I'm going to find out what's going on. I stomp through the halls, driven by the fires of righteous fury. Even the seniors I pass on my way don't dare challenge me. Falcon Hall, home of the pretty boys. He must be around here somewhere. Damien. He was pretty. <laughs> Is my favorite freshman looking for me? Wink. I jab my finger into his chest gave my love letter to Professor Grabner. He read it out in front of everyone, and then he did a spell to see who wrote it, and now my roommate's got detention. Your roommate? She has better handwriting than me, so she rewrote it on pink paper to make it look cute. She did me a favor, and now she's being punished for it. I hope you're happy. That wasn't supposed to happen. She was supposed to have a detention. <laughs> oh, Rain. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have been bragging. That's what started this. Wait, what? I was telling some of the guys how I made my freshman write this letter for me. <clears throat> sorry. That's fine. Take I a was drink of water or something off. if you have to. Blush. <laughs> they thought it was funny. The very idea of a girl writing a love letter to someone like me, sad plush. Like, I'm not sure if he's really clever and manipulative, or if he's genuinely just kind of like, you're misunderstanding things, I'm sorry. Eh, let's hear him out. Yeah. Because I could see this happening. Yeah, totally. When I was at class yesterday, someone broke into my room and stole the letter. It was that yellow-haired boy! Or no, it was totally, uh, what's-her-face, she stole her own letter. <laughs> Wait, why would she do that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Because then they had to oh, give it to the teacher. She she obviously was doing this in a clever attempt to get me to leave the room to confront Damien so she could steal things. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought they were only looking to use it to tease me. Huh, I just noticed our cuteness went up at some point. Oh. Maybe when we wrote the letter? Hmm. I wouldn't say that's cute, though. No, but I, I don't know what we did to make it change because I wasn't paying attention to when it went up. Oh, actually, the other day when it made that noise, I was wondering why it made the noise, but I didn't look at the stats, and that was probably why. That was probably the cute going up, but I didn't. 
I guess. Think. I didn't. I was like, why did it make that noise? I mean, you can't tell because you don't have volume, but. So you don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. Nope. <laughs> I never imagined they would try to use it against you, and I had no idea your roommate was involved. Well, I'm not going to let them have the last laugh. I will murder them in their sleep. Oh, I was thinking, like, angry frown. <laughs> like... Come on, Rain. First, I'm going to apologize to your roommate in person. Then, I'll go to Professor Grabbing Pants. If someone gets to dungeon for this, it should be me. Uh, Professor Grabbing Her. <laughs> I'm always going to think of it like that now. Yeah. <laughs> he grabs my hand and pulls me along the corridor. Slightly roughly. He looks a bit scary when he's mad, but I bet I did too. I know just how he feels. It's so unfair when mean people hurt innocents for no reason. 